Hi! So in this video, I'm really excited about sharing some ideas for using the new Canva Flipgrid backdrops that were just released and how that can be used with Flipgrid for some math work because of course, that comes from my math heart. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna take you over to Canva for a moment and Canva now has all of these Flipgrid backdrop. So how you find these in your Canva, if you just type in Flipgrid in the templates, you will see Flipgrid backdrops in landscape or in portrait mode. I am in landscape mode since I'm on the web app here and you can choose from so many options. I just pulled up this one and what I'm gonna focus on as a math teacher, I like to handwrite a lot. I like my students to be able to handwrite. And so there's something new in Canva that is this drawing tool and that's in beta still, but if you don't have that yet, you can go to the more and you can see this draw tool and you would have it in your sidebar after you've selected it once. With that draw tool, you can use the pen, the marker, the glow pen and a highlighter to write directly on your Canva canvas. Let's talk about an example where maybe students are explaining their work or maybe even you're creating an instructional video. So I am going to be pairing this up with my Wacom tablet. I have a Wacom Intuos tablet right here because that's how I do my handwriting personally. Then I have the precision of the pen. Let's go ahead and create our scene. So I'm gonna choose backdrop and for this example, I'm actually just gonna use my screen as a backdrop. And I'm gonna share another window. One thing that I learned is don't share your Chrome tab, otherwise it doesn't pick up the handwriting. So choose your window that I have here. So I know it looks like picture in picture here, but I'm gonna go down to the lower left corner like this, because when I am in Canva, that will make me right over here. So you'll see how that works out in a second. But basically I have my scene all set up right now. Let me go ahead and choose a marker. I'm gonna write in purple for this one and I'm gonna make my pen just a little bit thinner here. So now I'm ready to start my example. I'm gonna press record. Okay, and I can chop off the beginning of this. My scene is set, let's go. So say for example, I want to graph y equals 2x plus 3. Let's go ahead and set up our graph here. Make a couple of tick marks. Great, let's change our color pen. Let's start with the y-intercept. Let's then go with the slope up 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and here we have our line. Okay, say that maybe we wanna do a little bit more work. Maybe on the side here, we just want to check our X and Y intercepts. So let's start with the Y intercept. And for that, we're going to have zero, three. Then let's find the X intercept. And for that, maybe we have to show a little bit of work. Zero equals two X plus three. Negative three equals two X x equals negative three halves. So our x-intercept is going to be negative three halves comma zero. And so there we go, that's my little math demo. That'll be enough for this video here. Some really nice things are, there is an undo tool right here and a redo tool. That's nice, we have our eraser, we can change the eraser thickness. Again, we can change pen tool, marker tool, and any of the colors we want. I'm gonna go ahead and press done, so that saves all my annotations here. If I needed to move them around, I could do that. I can even resize them if I wanted more space to do something else. Anyway, let's go back in Flipgrid and let's Let's go ahead and go to the next scene. Now, if we go back over to Flipgrid, you can see that it recorded me in the corner here, and then I am writing and drawing and graphing this problem as I talk. So you can see me on top of, and that's what the backdrop is all about, that I'm on top of this background here, and I'm using just the drawing tools right in Canva itself to do all this. So it's a pretty fantastic, great way for students to talk out their math work, great way for you as a teacher to be able to explain some little things, um, just an all around easy, simple idea. Again, all I was really using was Canva. I just used one of these new backdrops because it was 
fun. They have a lot of backdrops that are pre-designed to choose from. You can even do a compare and contrast type of thing. So many ideas. And then the magic here was that I was using the drawing mode. Again, if you don't have that yet, go to more and you'll see the drawing in beta right there. And then you have all the pen tools. So if you have a tablet like I do, you can just write do instruction and your students can do the same type of thing for practice. So I hope you really enjoyed this video for some ideas for using Canva paired with Flipgrid for instruction and for students to show their math thinking. All right, that's gonna be it for now. Bye.